Times now 6 18 a.m. You know what that music means. Now we know today is all about celebrating the Braves World <laughs> Series title, and so is our Friday flashback court. Yes, it is. This morning we're taking you back 26 years to 1995, our year, Wanye, oh, yeah. when Brad Bibb and our big purple 13 microphone were all over the coverage of the Atlanta Braves' first World Series win. Braves fans, Braves players have been waiting a long time to celebrate their first world championship. We had the veteran leader sit. We had a, a great core of, of great players, a good core of young players, a, a good mix in chemistry. And for it to come to a head out here tonight, it was just, uh, it was really special. The tough part is just getting here. Once you get here, it's a little bit easier, but it's just getting here. This year having to deal with extra round of playoffs, the Rockies and everything, and Cincinnati, so getting here was the tough part. You can really feel like you're the best team, and until you really go out and win the championship, you can't proclaim that, and we can finally do that now. They feel wow. like the best team because they are the best. A lot of future Hall of Famers on the field and great memories. Now fans who were around back then say they thought they'd get several more titles over the next few years. Yeah, we know out. how that went. <laughs> <laughs> they had no idea it would be 26 years for another championship. But now, of course, here we are celebrating like it's 1995 once again. And you know, in the 90s, people knew how to throw down. So oh, you know that was exciting. They definitely knew yeah. how to have a good time. And I think just, you know, Courtney, since it's been so long, it makes it even more special right. for the folks all throughout the state, people here in Central Georgia, right. to go up there and celebrate or just celebrate from their couch knowing that the Braves right. did it. Yes, it is so exciting. And, you know, it's cool to see the archive video of people who are now considered baseball legends and they're in the Hall of Fame mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. And it'll be cool to see, you know, yeah. in a couple of decades, I'm sure people like Freddie Freeman, Austin Riley, you know, they might end up it's, being like that too. 